this is the key of the 2020 Hyundai i20. The car is finally with us. We are here to experience it ahead of the launch and uh, we would be answering the very important question. Does it make the impression that we all had been waiting for? I am Anir Ban. You are watching Times of India. Do give it a thumbs up, like the video, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you take a look at the design, I think this is a radical change and there is a lot of inspiration from the, uh, the bigger Varna and also the Hyundai Aura. Now, take a look at the grille. This grille is much like the Varna. It is angular in design with pokey ends and in fact the design as well. This is the turbo variant, so you have the turbo wedging right on the top of the grille. The Hyundai finished in chrome. But this is a blacked out grille. This is the turbo variant. And uh, for the lights, you have projector beams. On top of that, you have LED DRLs right uh, on top. This also double up as side indicators. Now, why I took the reference of Hyundai Aura is because of this. If you take a look at the fog lamps, these are projector fog lamps. And uh, the casing is much like the Aura. Now there are a few detailings that you have to really take notice of, like this one, I-20 written on this nice gradient. Uh, the hood, you have very strong character lines. It's a sinking uh, hood, I would say. These lines really give some nice uh, meat to the overall stance. Now this premium hatchback sits on 16 inch alloy wheels with a five spoke design now these are much like the aura and the new uh, grand i10 neos you have a very sleek very sleek outside rear view mirror you can see this has been stretched to quite an extent you have the side indicators integrated the door handles are finished in chrome now again, if you take a very close look, you can see how distinctive it is. It's just not finished in chrome, but now you have a shape on top. Now, a pier shape, I would say. The curvature on the lower end is less than the curvature on top. Very nice de detailing, I would say. If you look at this part, you have a very beefy C pillar, but Hyundai has offered a quarter glass here. So what it essentially does is it increases the airiness more light comes into the cabin now also here you have an extra black cladding which uh, hyundai says uh, increases the overall appeal if you take it if you take a look at the waistline it runs right from there comes comes along comes along and it rounds off here so i would say brilliant engineering out here uh, also, if you take a look at the rear profile, now this light is in the shape of a Z with I-20 badging here, I-20 badging in chrome on the tailgate. Take a look here. So this is the tailgate profile. Now there is a strip that connects both the tail lights. You have a Hyundai badging right on top of this, a washer for the rear windscreen and a brake light right on top now let's quickly take a look at the boot now, this is not automatic but this is your boot uh, nice boxy design this stands at 311 liters now this has gone up by fair margin but again this is not segment leading Altros still leads the pack with almost 345 liters out here Now this was the Hyundai uh, i20, no elite nomenclature or the grand nomenclature. This is all new for 2020. Now do tell us what do you think about the design. We would quickly uh, get into the back seat and tell you how it feels like in here.
the first thing you notice in the second row is the entry space you see you can see there's a lot of uh, leg room also headroom is adequate if you are 6 foot or around that height and this increased space has a lot to do with the new platform the new i20 sits in an, on a new platform as a result it has grown in size it's longer it's wider however and the height remains same now this is a turbo variant so the fabric used is all black uh, the lower profile of the uh, hatchback is uh, in black finish now i can i can safely tell you this is very premium quality material used you have black stitching on top of these artificial uh, leather in terms of comfort you get couple of headrest you have a central armrest again there is no cup holder or any any scooped out section to keep a mobile phone or anything else you have dedicated air conditioning vent you have a pocket here and a usb charging point right there so if you charging your phone you can keep it here also you get small uh, pockets here door pockets around and uh, obviously this car gets premium uh, bose speakers so you can really enjoy the entertainment on the go now there's another brilliant addition to the i20 you can see there you get a nice sunroof so this becomes the second car in the segment to get sunroof jazz already had it now this one also has it let's get to the first row we'll experience it all now inside the cabin there are a lot of new things to discuss and i'm really looking forward to it the first thing you notice here is this one this one looks much like the new verna you have these nice gaming console inspired uh, speedometer and the rev meter on the right also you get uh, a small computer right in the middle through which you can look at different engine parameters this is your steering wheel it's finished in a d cut you have multiple keys on top of the steering wheel on the left you have stereo control keys on the right you have cruise control keys moving on to the infotainment screen this is a 8 inch infotainment screen this has also been upgraded and this comes with Hyundai's blue link connectivity now now i think uh, the touch feedback is also nice you get more than 50 connected features with the i20 take a look at the dashboard design take a look at the dashboard design you have these horizontal elements now uh, we are used to seeing these type of uh, elements in luxury and cars especially in mercedes benz however this is no comparison in of any sort these ac vents with horizontal lines run right across into the dashboard and on top of the dashboard you have slightly soft touch material with grainy texture also on the sides on the doors you have these horizontal elements uh, present you have the stereo system out there a small pocket here and uh, that's about it on top uh, you have a sunroof now this is not huge but i think this is a very welcome addition especially in balino and the altros you might just feel that little claustrophobic now in uh, altros and balino you might just feel claustrophobic which is not the case with i20 uh if you take a look at these uh, aircon vents nice layout and what i really like about the dashboard is that it's different it's different from i10 it's different from creta it's different from verna it's different from verna now i20 you can say has a character of its own now you have couple of usb points you have a wireless charging pad with a cooling feature now this one i am sitting in gets a dct gearbox with 1 liter turbo petrol engine we'll come to the engine specifications in a while but i want to focus that 
the uh, overall layout inside the cabin is really handsome you would really find difficult to find you would really find it difficult uh, it would be really difficult to find faults inside the cabin now there are a couple of uh, cup holders here you have a manual uh, brake lever and this one you see here this one is coming with a top trim and this is an add-on package this is your air purifier oxy boost air purifier that uh, i20 is providing you also have a small tree box right in the middle in terms of practicality i would say it's not extravagant but uh, you get quite an ample storage space here you can see that blue light well this is the part of the ambient light package glove box this is not huge but what's good about this glove box is that it comes with cooling feature now everything you touch here is of good quality you find some uh, soft touch material here you find hard plastic it's a mix of both you have the uh, inside rear view mirror you have you can see the sos uh, and the blue link uh, icon here on top of the roof you have on top of the roof on the roof you have a place to keep your sunglass and the key to take off the sunroof and also switch to dim the lights inside the cabin now you don't have a mirror on this but you have a small mirror on occupant side so that was about the interior of the i20 i really like this it's impressive it's really premium and it gives that freshness to the entire segment so let's talk about the engine now now let's talk about the engine options you get with the i20 you can see the dct badging out here you also get an imt gearbox with the energetic 1 liter turbo petrol engine it is in the same uh, state of tune as you get in uh, venue 120 ps power 172 newton meters of torque and you have couple of transmission options and yes this is the turbo gdi engine you also have the option of a 1.2 liter petrol which either comes with a 5 speed manual or a ivt or a cvt transmission the petrol offers 83 ps and the ivt offers 88 ps power and on the other hand you have a 1.5 liter diesel engine so the good thing is uh, Tata Altros will not be the only option you get in the segment with a diesel manual uh, option. The i20 will also get a diesel uh, powertrain 1.5 liter and in fact Hyundai claims it would be the most efficient diesel engine in the segment. And I think this is a fully loaded car if you are especially looking at the top trims. It would also give a nice uh, alternative to the likes of Hyundai Venue or the Kia Sonnet. If you're really not looking for a SUV, instead if you want to go for a premium hatchback, well this car really presents a strong case for itself. We are really itching to drive, we would, we'd be, we would be shortly back with a full review of this car. Till then, uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned with Times of India for further news and updates.